This is an example that illustrates the use of a probability density function. It goes as follows. Let the continuous random variable x be uniformly distributed between 0 and 1. Find the probability density function, f of x. The probability that x lies between 1 fifth and 1 half. And the probability that x equals 2 thirds. Now it turns out there is one and only one probability density function f of x that follows the fo that satisfies the following four criteria. First of all, it has to be defined on a support script A, which is x values between 0 and 1. And you can see that I decided not to include 0 and 1. That won't matter in this case because it's a continuous random variable. The second thing is this function f of x has to be constant with respect to x. For you to have uniformity, it can't be a function of x. Rather, it's got to be a constant. Third, this function has to integrate to 1. That satisfies the first existence condition. And it also has to be non-negative over all real x in order to satisfy the second existence condition. Well, based on those four criteria, the probability density function has to be f of x equals 1 for x values between 0 and 1. So the probability density function for a continuous, uniformly distributed random variable between 0 and 1 looks just like that. Now, if you integrate this PDF, which is 1, if you integrate that between 1 fifth and 1 half, you will get the probability of falling between 1 fifth and 1 half. The integral of 1 is just x. When you plug in the upper limit of 1 half and the lower limit of 1 fifth, you get 3 tenths. So 3 tenths is the probability that x will fall between 1 fifth and 1 half. That is illustrated in the picture below, and this was uh, done in R. Here is x, and here is f of x. Notice that the probability density function is constant at 1. And the probability of falling between 1 fifth, which is 0.2, and 1 half, which is 0.5, is going to be the area underneath the probability density function between 1 fifth and 1 half. And that area is shaded here, and it is equal to 3 tenths. Now, the last thing that was asked in the question is the probability that x is equal to 2 thirds, and that's the probability that x assumes one particular value. You could just write this down. You know it's 0 because it's a continuous random variable. But if you want to integrate from 2 thirds to 2 thirds, you will indeed get 0.